Been playing Fortnite for hours now? Arlie, what are you doing? Fortnite? Five, four, do it. three, trust him, do it! Hey, what's up guys? It's Arlie and I'm here with another video. Man, this is crazy. So, apparently there's this junk rip thing going on. They can kill a bunch of people at once. I'm actually playing solos on Fortnite right now, but it's crazy. Let's go ahead and check out the video uh, by Denver. And it got to me a bit. The boombox didn't do it for Epic. The airstrike didn't do it. So what does Epic do? They bring us the junk rift, and it might look like a dinosaur or a cop car or a porta potty to you, but look past the memes. And Epic brought in a bomb. Straight up, that's what it is. A tiny nuclear missile that drops from the sky. It kills someone instantly and does 100 damage to everyone around them while destroying their building. Oh, it's a bomb fuck. disguised as a meme and shows how much they hate building and will do what they can do to stop good players from being too good. And who, who knows? Uh, you know, maybe some of you guys agree with that. It's just my opinion, guys. You do not have to agree with me or Ninja or Myth or Tifu who said, I think junk riffs are more overpowered than mechs. Make up your own mind, I always say that, but the news is the news. Frustration with Epic is reaching what I believe to be an all-time high. Watch Tifu closely in 72 hours play here, and the junk riffs that Tom throws out that kills like seven top pros at once, even including his own teammate, Tifu, and, and the best player in the world, Booga, who got really mad and quit and then we'll check out ninja saying why he will leave for minecraft in just a second check this out i'm going to try something Pop, uh, turn aside turn aside turn aside yeah, i have no match i'm literally hard breathing i'm getting killed right now i died in the toilet this game is yeah i'm pretty sure i killed like 10 people with my toilet. killed so many oh people my Tom. God. you have so many people i'm going to try me, something <laughs> i'm trying something <laughs> Tom? You just killed six people. Those things are not good for the game. That is all I have to say. Those things are not good for the game. Man, I, I don't know what it is, but I love Tom, aka 72 Hours. These three together with Tifu and Cloak. These guys are just insane at the game and hilarious. But seven or eight kills, I think he says eight later against the best players in the game, all just by being on the ground and chucking a couple junk rifts. Is this item Bro. too strong? I'm asking you guys, yeah, watch Booga's reaction Bro. to this real quick. He is uh, not is happy. Play this later, call the match. Yeah, I went 67. Knock. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I got mass. Just keep going, keep going. What the? Hey guys, wanna know how I died? Bro. They just threw three of those things on top of us, and they all hit me. I was 200 HP, I got one hit, but I wanted that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, this I is so one dumb. Hit me for like, what is this game doing? This game is... Bro, like, I don't care, like... It's actually so stupid. So tell me in the comments if you think the Junk Rift is too strong, or maybe you think it's right where it should be. Maybe Fortnite needed this, and I hear you. Imagine being a new player against all the sweaty players. You have no chance, so maybe Ninja was right when he said Epic must know something that we don't. And speaking of Ninja, you came for it. I don't want to make you wait too long, but will he leave for Minecraft? Watch for yourself and let me know what you think. I'm about to, I'm about to just build an empire in Minecraft for the next like month. Maybe that maybe that's what people like though, because it's like over a month you build. <laughs> he said that he's gonna build an empire in Minecraft. Just basically at this point, it's like, why? What's the point of playing? Fortnite, if they are making, they purposely are trying to make it to where everyone's on the same level when everyone's just simply not going to be on the same level. Just people, if people can't get kills in Fortnite, then they need to practice more. Come on, man. What are they doing? Well, this huge thing, and then yeah. when you're done, it's like, oh, lit. Yeah, you know? yeah. I feel Maybe like, that's it. You know what? Let's do it, Tim. You and me. Nate, join. Let's go. Let's Minecraft it. Legend, 250. Oh God, Chance, you too. You can come too. Fun, think of the 1,000 embers. Brady, think of the 500 embers, man. I don't even know how to install Minecraft. I'm not gonna lie, the website's really, it's really easy. questionable. It's only 200 megabytes. Okay. It's, it's, it's pretty easy, you know. It's actually insane. Like, I downloaded I downloaded it, and like my, my browser was like, are you sure you want to download this? It could be malware. I was like, what? My, <laughs> Minecraft? But the website just doesn't look like it's actually Minecraft. I don't However, know. I wonder how many 
Like, oh, I, I, YouTube viewership Minecraft is up right now. Oh, dude, YouTube viewership. Listen, Minecraft slaps Pewdiepie, on dude. YouTube. PewDiePie effect. <laughs> yeah. He's been posting for like a month straight, and now... How many views like, are oh, his videos get you. getting on Ten million, Minecraft? it is. Every oh video. Oh gosh. Yeah, that guy's insane. So is Ninja serious about this? No joke, any YouTuber who sees Pewds getting like 10 million a video on Minecraft has to at least consider making videos or streams for it, Ninja included. I mean, depending on CPM, one single 10 million view video could be worth anywhere around 20 to $30,000 or more. So oh yeah, that's big, that's huge. Like now I'm considering doing Minecraft videos. I have it on my PS4. I'm actually playing Fortnite right now, but I'm thinking about going to Minecraft myself. <laughs> but would that make Ninja and Tim the Tapman and FaZe Nate Hill and everyone else want to give it a go? Sure, why not? I've actually considered doing it myself, especially when they see YouTubers like Laserbeam be able to play both games successfully. So we just might see Ninja play some Minecraft. He's disappointed with the game right now. He's really disappointed. Watch his frustration here when he just feels straight up bad for the players that he he has to kill to get the wins. And he just has to question what this game is now. Watch this. Oh, there he is. Yeah, Nate, I'm gonna go pick you up. What did Ninja say? Oh, oh, oh. I wonder. Look at him. Oh my God, he's so cute. Get it, get it, get it. Dude, we are like, honestly, we're going to. Nice. Cyberbullying. This is cyberbullying. This is actually <laughs> turbo bullying against the rocket. <laughs> this is cyberbullying, I'm dead. What? what, he blew up the rocket? I'm just let us get a clip, man. Like, getting out of here. Bro, what is happening? He <laughs> <laughs> can't be a good player no more because everyone's. They're giving everybody. A freaking... We like Fortnite! We like Fortnite! Nah, man, like, I, I still love this game so much, but just come on. So he does say he loves this game, and Ninja really does try to get other creators and influencers to say good things about the game, like TSM Myth, who changed his picture to the Fortnite logo, pretending to be them, and tweeted out yesterday, due to a massive amount of negative feedback received from the community regarding recent patches, we will be disabling the brute and vaulting all the other stuff we put in this game without actually thinking. This tweet was Myth is funny, deleted. <laughs> Ninja replied, Yikes, which could be taken different ways, but Ninja also replied to another player's tweet that was insulting Fortnite heavily over a week ago, telling him to delete the tweet. So maybe Ninja is just tired of the negativity. Maybe he really wants us all to shut up so the game lasts longer, but most pros believe that Epic is the one driving the game into the ground and the so-called negativity is constructive criticism to get the game back on track and stop it from nosediving into the ground. So who is right? You guys can decide which team you're on, but when Epic does things like show us a trailer of this new awesome item destroying the thing that many people hate, the mech, they might think we aren't smart enough to realize that my dog could literally hit her paw on my keyboard and be able to avoid the junk rip from falling on top of it. Like, look at how easy this is. That is one boost to the side. And the fact that he threw it, he got back into his mech, and then he still had time to hit one button to boost to the side shows you how silly the trailer is showing us that it's like some kind of anti-mech item. It is an anti-build item, and that's what it's intended to do. Stop good builders. Again, I don't blame Epic and inexperienced players for liking an item like this. I don't, and it's still fun to use. But don't treat us like we're dumb and pretend it's some kind of counter to the mech it's an item that is there to help noobs be good players. Be real with us. Like, watch this play. This guy was beat, no doubt about it. Getting countered every two steps. So what does he do? He throws a junk rip. He wins the fight. Watch how crazy this is. Watch this, it's gonna be tough. Oh my gosh, bro. This is sad. This is what Fortnite has come to. Bro. Like imagine just, just for done. a second being that other player. Clearly, he was the winner in that fight up to the point a giant anchor fell on his head and killed him instantly. But oh well, this is where we're at right now. 
And this is Joker, what we have to deal with if we want to play Fortnite. I do miss the old charm of the game, though. You know, I think most of us do. Back when we all sucked, and the most we built was like a wall and stairs, and just had some good gun battles and like funny plays. Now people are just too good. And luckily, we have pros like Tifu who let some of these newer players get some wins. I love seeing things like this. Check it out. <laughs> Sad. Mm, he's sad. Seriously awesome of Tifu, and he does this quite a bit to help players out, but there is only so many people that are willing to do this. The game now is just about win, win, win. Gotta get those stats up. Gotta be a big name. Gotta win a million dollars. So you can't blame these pros who play 12 hours a day and stomp people like you and me. They really want to win some big money. How will Epic figure this one out? I got interviewed by Bloomberg recently. Pretty cool, right? Kind of a humble brag here. I'm admitting it, and I told them straight up, I would not want to be in Epic's place right now. They cater to the majority of the player base, the noobs, and then they make the big streamers and influencers mad. Or they cater to the pros and the streamers, and then the noobs quit the game because they die all the time. It's terrible. It really is. And then people like me always complaining about Epic, putting even more pressure on them. Like, how mean am I, right? I'm kind of kidding, but I know the videos get negative sometimes, but I always believe Believe. It's okay guys to give constructive criticism, especially to companies that are making millions and millions of dollars. Like, do I ever just outright insult Epic? Do I? I mean, I, I don't think I ever have. I always report the news. I say my opinion sometimes. And then if Epic wants to listen to me and others, they can, but they seem to have their own plan. Let's just hope it doesn't push Fortnite even lower. Hit like and sub guys, Twitch TV, that Denver guy, and the streams have been insane. Thank you guys so much for coming out. More Battle Pass giveaways to come. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless, love, Denver. popularity and it is storm area 51 they can't stop all of us it is scheduled for friday september 20th at 3 a.m 6 a.m well 2 6 a.m local time what's going on everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel you guys probably remember just about a month ago at this point a meme went viral here on the internet starting on facebook of all places uh basically about area 51 and how we were all going to raid area 51 to see the aliens and everything that were there uh basically to kind of expose the secrets of the government and everything a bunch of fake plans and stuff were uh, basically being drawn up and stuff like that and all kinds of different crazy and wacky things were going on and uh it, it went pretty viral i mean there were like within a couple days like a, a few hundred thousand signatures and even over like a week or something there was already a couple million signatures it was pretty insane like it blew up it, it was all over the place and uh it, it actually surpassed the internet like uh the mainstream media started reporting on it they were taking it really seriously um they didn't seem to necessarily get it was a joke like i think some of them understood that yes this was a joke but a lot of them did not really seem to understand that a lot of them really seemed to think that millions of people on the internet actually really wanted to storm area 51 and actually see aliens and then of course you know the united states government actually formally responded to this whole thing by saying basically Are we playing Fortnite?